Yo, girls! Wait, no, my bad. I mean, boys! So you guys know I have made a few Arsenal voice back videos in the past, and you guys seem to really like them. So today I am going to be making one and showing you guys exactly how I do it. But before we get into that, did you guys know that only 1% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed? So if you have not subscribed yet, please, we need to reach 100%. Just go down below the video and hit that subscribe button. Thank you. And if you like the voice packs that I make, don't forget to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm so more people can see this video. And let me know in the comments who I should make a voice pack for next. And we can't forget the random comment from last video. Hi. Baba boy. So you guys may have seen that in my last video, I reviewed a zero view video that was about a voice pack. If you guys are wondering why your videos aren't doing good or why you don't have many views, maybe, you know, you got to think about it's about announcer and you only have one sound announcer sound in the first minute of the video. And in that video, I didn't think they did a very good job of implementing their voice lines into their actual gameplay. So that's why in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how I actually make my own arsenal voice packs. I have made myself a voice pack. I've made one for Tanker. I've made one for Fusion Boys, and I'm still open to making some for other creators if you guys want me to. All right, so let's hop right into actually making our own voice pack. The first thing you're going to want to do is actually make all the voice lines for your Arsenal announcer. So that is just as easy as opening a notepad on your desktop. Just literally right click and just start new and then text document. And there are five different categories of voice lines that you're going to need to make. The first one is deploy sounds, so whenever you start an arsenal match. The second one is headshots, so when you get a headshot against somebody. The third one is actually getting a knife kill in game. The fourth is going to be when you get demoted, like when you actually get knifed. And the fifth one is actually you going to be getting a victory whenever you win an arsenal match. So if you need any inspiration on the lines you're going to use, just head on over to the arsenal wiki and go to the announcers tab because there are all of the announcers that there are in the game and they show you all the list of lines that they use. If you want to make your announcer your own, I wouldn't suggest just straight taking some of these, but it would definitely help if you look through them and see, you know, give some ideas on what you should use. All right, so for this tutorial, I'm just going to be putting one line on each of these, and then I'll show you guys how to record for each of the lines. So for the deploy sound, we could just go for something generic like, let's go get this win. And I always suggest doing more headshot sounds because if you're ever going to make an Arsenal voice pack, the headshot sounds are mainly what you're going to be using. Like the deploy sound only comes once a game. Knife kills, you know, you barely ever get them. Demote sounds, you hopefully you guys don't get demoted that often. And victory sounds only also come once a game. So we'll make two headshot sounds for this tutorial. For the first sound, we can just go with something generic. You have got to be hacking. And for the second one, we'll just go with that was a juicy shot because I think a lot of the voice lines are usually like something like how it's awesome, amazing shot and stuff. For when you get a knife kill, you can put like that guy deserved that or something generic. And when you get demoted, always make sure to make fun of yourself. We'll just go with something generic. I can't believe you have done this. I can't believe you've done this. Can't believe you've done this. And for the victory, always be hyping yourself up. I'll just put, that was a great win. Let's do it again. All right, so once you filled out all of your voice lines, you have them all ready, you think they're going to be good. The next step is actually recording your voice lines so that you can use them in game. I use a software called Audacity. It's right here. And I'll link it down in the description. So if you guys want to install it, you can use it as well. All right, so once you have Audacity open, you're going to want to make sure that you're using your right microphone. Mine is obviously right because I've been using the software. It's uh, my chat mic on my GoXLR. After you set up your mic, you should be good to go. And if you want to check if your mic is working, there should be a recording level right here. All you got to do is click to make sure it turns on. And then as long as this green bar is moving up, then you're recording your microphone. All right, so all we got to do from here is actually record ourselves saying these lines. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So in order to record, all you got to do is press this red button right here and then start talking. Let's go get this win. All right, and after you're done, all you got to do is press the stop button. And then in the software, you'll be able to see all of your audio mumbo jumbo. So all you're going to want to do is cut out all of the empty space that you weren't actually talking so that the voice line will actually be more precise. So let me listen back to where I was actually talking. Let's go get this win. All right. So now that I know that all of this space is where I was actually talking, I just need to cut out all the spots that I wasn't. So in order to do that, you just got to highlight whatever you don't want in and then press the backspace button on your keyboard. So just backspace everything out. After you deleted all the sounds that you don't want to use, all you need to do is go up to here, file, export, export as MP3, and then you can export the sound to anywhere on your PC that you want to save it to. I would suggest making a new folder and naming it like Arsenal Voice Pack, and then going into that folder and actually saving all of your voice pack lines into that folder. 
It would also be good to name your sounds like deploy, headshot, knife kill, demoted, and victory. To just organize all the lines better. So for mine, I'm going to put deploy one. And if you want to move on to your next line, all you're going to need to do is delete all the audio that you have in here and then just start from scratch. You have got to be hacking. So just keep repeating this for all of your voice lines and then you can move on to the actual editing. All right, so after you've recorded all your voice lines, you're going to need to go into an editing software so you can actually put the voice pack onto your gameplay. I personally use DaVinci Resolve because it's free and it's pretty easy to use and I've been using it for quite a while, so I'm pretty used to it. I will make sure to put down in the description below where you can actually go download it for yourself as well. All right, so once you have your DaVinci Resolve open, all you gotta do is open a new project and then make sure you have some footage of you deploying, getting a headshot, getting a knife kill demo, and uh, victory. So once you have all those clips ready, all you gotta do is line them up in your editing software so that we can get started. The main thing I think you need to get right is actually lining up the words on the screen with the sound you are using. And this is what it should look like if you edit it correctly. Let's deploy sound. Let's go get this win. The main thing you're gonna need to do is put some text on the screen that says your exact voice line. And I like using the font Calibri because I, I think it just looks good. Make sure that the position of the text is somewhere near the bottom, like where I have it right here, because this is where the text pops up when you're actually using a real announcer in game. And for my announcer videos, I like to put that it's the deploy sound number one or whatever deploy sound or whatever sound it is. And then just make sure you line up the audio with the text so that it all meshes correctly. And once you line up all the text and all the sounds, it should look a little something like this. All right, here's the first headshot sound. You have got to be hacking. All right, next I'm gonna be showing you guys the sounds that play when you get a knife kill. That guy deserved that. Show you guys the demote sounds. I can't believe you've done this. So here they all are. That was a great win. Let's get another. So that is the main part of actually making a voice pack is lining up all the sounds so you can display them to everyone. The next biggest part is actually showing them in game. Basically, once you have laid out all of your sounds, it'll be really easy to drag and drop the text and the sound together on top of the clip that you have. All right, so I grabbed a clip of me playing. Let me show you guys how I would drag and drop the text and the sound over my gameplay. So right at the start of this clip, I need to put the deploy sound because that is exactly when I spawn right, into the game. So I need to go grab the deploy text and the deploy sound and then basically just paste it right over the gameplay and it should look like this. Let's go get right, this let's win. Get right into it just fits seamlessly into the gameplay and it looks like it's actually just part of the game. And obviously you're going to want to be able to put it over headshots. So find the exact moment that you get a headshot. So right here, I know I get a headshot on this. So right when you get a headshot on that girl, you can go find the exact frame that you kill her. So right there, I killed this girl. So all you got to do is go grab their headshot sound and paste it right over where you got the kill. And then it should look a little something like this. Comment down below what FOB you guys actually use. You have got I, to be I hacking. See and it just goes seamlessly right over the gameplay. Looks like it basically built into the gameplay. So then you'll just do this for right when you get a victory, right when you get a knife kill, right when you get a headshot, all the sounds, just use them right where they need to be used. And obviously you're gonna need to turn off the announcer. If you actually use an announcer in game, make sure to get gameplay where you actually aren't using an announcer. And that's basically it. Those are all the steps that I use in order to create my voice packs. I first create the lines, then I record the lines, then I put them into the editing software and I put them over my gameplay. This is what my editing software actually looks like once I put all the lines there. But yeah, hopefully this video taught you guys something and hopefully you'll be able to use this for uh, your own videos in the future. And that's gonna be the end of this video. If you guys like this type of tutorial video, please make sure to like the video, leave a comment down below and subscribe so that you don't miss any new videos I post. Hopefully I could see some more amazing voice pack videos out there and maybe I can react to some in my future videos. As always, huge shout out to all my baller tier members. Your guys' support is amazing. And I hope to see you all next video. Peace.